There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Me? 
DC owns the game winning drive. I did not have that on my bingo card at all. I did not. Wow. CTR gambling drive against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it did. And the chant is named up here. DTR! 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 What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Benchwarmer Sports again. And I apologize for not getting this out uh, earlier, but um, went to the Browns game today. Thanks in due part because of your guys' support. I was able to go to this game today, and what a game it was. Um, Browns get the win 13-10. to Dorian Thompson Robinson gets his first start, or at least his second start. Um, but his first start without Deshaun Watson as the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. And to be honest, I think the first half, I think he did pretty well. First half, I think he was pretty good. Second half is a different story. Second half, he was not good. Not good at all is probably the best way to put it. Um, was not good, but final drive, when he needed him the most, when he needed him to produce the, the results that he needed to get, DTR produced. Um, now, like I said uh, beforehand, all you need DTR to do is just not play like P.J. Walker. Um, if he plays better than P.J. Walker, if you get serviceable quarterback play from PJ, uh, from DTR, Browns are going to be fine. The Browns are going to be fine because his defense is going to be insane. His defense is insane. If DTR can just play serviceable, serviceable, excuse me, if he can play serviceable and if he can just not play like the worst quarterback in the league like P.J. Walker is, Browns are going to be fine. Um, now, I think he made some pretty good throws. I think the game plan, you know, coming into this game was, you know, screen passes, uh, quick slants, all that sort of stuff. And we saw that throughout the, throughout the game today was that that was pretty much what the plan was, was, you know, throw it out to the flat if it wasn't there. Um, you know, and we saw that throughout the entire game. Um, now, David Njoku had a couple of drops. Um, third and seven, especially, that's the one that sticks out of my mind because I think the Browns probably would have won the game and probably kept the ball, not give Pittsburgh a chance to have the ball, you know, under two minutes to go in that football game. Um, you know, they had third and seven, I think, at the 40-yard line or at their own 40-yard line. And, I mean, there was nobody within, like, a 10-yard radius of Njoku, and he just drops it, goes right through his hands. So Njoku had a pretty bad game today. Um, he had a couple of drops from Jerome Ford out of the backfield today. That wasn't pretty good. Um, Elijah Moore had a drop today. Uh, but then he, you know, bounced back with a first-yard catch. Um, you know, offense wasn't the best today. Defense is where you absolutely just had a pretty good day today. Um, outside of that one big yard from Jalen Warren, um, you know, pretty much Steelers offense really didn't do that much. I mean, Kenny Pickett got outplayed by DTR. Let's just face it. DTR outplayed Kenny Pickett today. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of Steelers fans who are worried about that. I've seen the biggest Kenny Pickett stan, Andrew Filipponi, start saying that Kenny Pickett may need to be replaced by Mason Rudolph or Mitch Trubisky. So um, that's what I saw today. Uh, but yeah, Steelers offense really didn't do anything today. They had 17 total yards in the first quarter. Um, I think this might be the first game this season where they've outgained an opponent, um, and they've lost. So that's pretty decent, but you know, the Browns somehow, some way were able to find a way to win with Dustin Hopkins and, you know, DTR came up clutch four of four on that last drive. You, you know, you, you needed all those throws. He gave you all those throws, um, so, you know, now the Browns are a half game out of the division. If the Chiefs lose tomorrow night to the Eagles, we're a half game out of the first place seed. I mean, I'm at the point now where if anybody just criticizes Kevin Stefanski for taking three different quarterbacks and winning seven games, I I don't understand how you can try and get him fired at this point. I mean, the dude is just... He's working with, like, matchsticks and glue at this point with his offense. 
Um, nobody expected this offense to be like it is, but it is. And Kevin Stefanski, I think, is making the most of what he's got. And I think that he deserves all the praise in the world. I think Kevin Stefanski deserves to have an extension for after this year. I mean, I, I, I don't know who you can get better at this point. I don't know what coach you, you, you think you can get better at this point. Because Kevin Stefanski has been able to just absolutely work with, and I don't even want to say like an insurmountable like disadvantage, but like just the odds have been stacked against this team so many times this season. Losing Nick Chubb, losing Jack Conklin, now losing Deshaun Watson for the year. What Kevin Stefanski has been able to do with this team. And rallying them around each other, and and to get them, you know, regrouped with one another, it deserves a lot of praise. And I, I honestly, I think if you if you criticize Stavansky, you 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 aren't looking at things the right way. You're not looking at things honestly. You're just letting your bias come into play here. But um, yeah, DTR outplayed Kenny Pickett. That's all. That's the biggest takeaway I took from this game. DTR outplay Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett is terrible. I've been saying this for the last couple of years. He is terrible. He is in the same tier as Daniel Jones. And I will laugh my butt off when the Steelers offer him a sort of max contract because they don't want to get rid of a, of a quarterback that they drafted. I mean, I mean, it's going to be funny when they do that. Um... But yeah, DTR outplayed Kenny Pickett today. Kenny Pickett had like one good throw. Outside of that, he was terrible today. Jalen Warren uh, had a, that 72-yard touchdown or 74-yard touchdown. Outside of that, Steelers running game didn't do anything. Browns defense held up. They held their they held their own outside of that one running play. Um, you know, I just I, I'm excited to see what this team is going to do. I'm very excited what this team is going to do. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have the vlog that I, uh, recorded from this game out tomorrow. So you guys can watch that all day on Monday. So make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. If you're new, if you like Cleveland sports content, or you just like, uh, any sports content in general on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. So it gets more eyeballs here on this channel with the algorithm. And I'll see you guys all on another video. Take care.